Your Majesty, esteemed laureates, minister, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Abel Prize ceremony and to the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters here in Oslo. This house was from the very beginning a meeting place for artists, politicians, business people, and scientists. And in 1911, a time of great scientific breakthroughs, the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters moved into this building, making this a house dedicated to discuss and promote science. And this is also the place where <clears throat> the Arbel Prize is administered on behalf of the Norwegian government. Today, we are here to honor this year's Abu Prize laureate, Dennis Sullivan, and his extraordinary scientific work in the field of mathematics. But first, president of the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters, Lisa Evros, I have to ask you, what is the purpose of the Abel Prize? The Abel Prize recognizes scientific pioneering uh, research in mathematics. And it also helps to boost the interest of mathematics in the society and to stimulate children and the young generation to get interested in mathematics. <clears throat> so I'm therefore very happy that we finally are gathered here today to celebrate the achievements of Dennis Sullivan and his research. We often say that research is um, curiosity-driven. As a scientist, what does that mean to you? Well, I think we as scientists are driven by curiosity about the system that shapes the world and the universe. And we use this curiosity to make new discoveries by observations and investigation. And often new discoveries are taken by curiosity. And doing research and looking into the curiosity is needed to get deeper understanding of the world and how things are working today. And also due to curiosity, many of the new technologies we have today become possible. But curiosity is also about the willingness to take risk in our work. So, so how do you encourage your, your students and your fellow scientists to be curious? Well, I encourage my students to be curious uh, and passionate about their work. It takes critical thinking to challenge what we already know and which knowledge gap we need to fill. We know more about the outer space than we do of our own planet. And therefore, we need to ask the relevant research questions in combination with doing descriptive analysis. It takes time and space to be inquisitive and ask the unexpected questions. Um, and moreover, we need to be prepared to fail again and again. So, so why is failing so important in science? Well, Failing is an essential and obvious part of uh, scientific research. If failure is obvious for the um, uh, scientific methods. We hypothesize, we observe, we measure, and we test. And often our hypotheses are wrong. We need to rethink, remodel, come up with new hypotheses, observe and test again. Mm -hmm. So test again, be curious, be interested. It's time to get to know this year's Abel Prize laureate a bit better. I'm definitely not a team worker. In fact, I don't even join communities and mafias. I, and even when I get some recognition in the field, I usually change fields. And sometimes he gets email from crazy people and he starts to answer and explaining things. He really, whoever is serious interest about math will get time from Dennis. I may not get time as a wife. Actually, I'm a good dancer. She's a good dancer too. We are free dancers. We took a few lessons in Buenos Aires. Did I take a lesson? Yes, you did. Really? Yes. Okay. I like to pick up things that people throw out and fix them. What is the structure of solvable algebraic groups as I'm walking toward them? So, so, wait, wait a minute, I'm giving a lecture on tables. Just a minute. The nice thing about math that's different from other fields is that when you have the theorem and you have the proof and you've written down the proof, it's done. 
Tetch. <laughs> you never see mathematicians arguing for a long time. There's a funny story. See that yellow wall? The math department was being built in the 60s, and their budget ran out, and the building stopped there. So I kind of insisted that they connect it to that walk. I hope they call this the Sullivan Bridge, because I made a lot of people mad. Here's my favorite equation. If you have a plate, it has boundary. Notice the boundary doesn't have any boundary. That's that equation. The boundary of the boundary of something is zero. Actually, I'm not that interested in the personalities of the mathematicians. Mm -mm. Not even my own. I'm interested in how they think. When you know a person's work, you know a lot about how they think. And it's almost indecent, like seeing them without their clothes. But it lifts to the five skeleton here. But there's no five skeleton, there's only a four skeleton. They're fantastic. <laughs> so we get a lift. Yeah, that was, that was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> At Columbia, and I was passing by, I looked in the door, and I saw a famous mathematician. There was a big, empty blackboard, and they were standing at this big, empty blackboard and sort of pointing at it and talking very excitedly. And I was looking on the blackboard, and here's what was on the blackboard. And it was... <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, there's something going on here that I haven't quite appreciated in mathematics. <laughs> we work on questions together, and then I don't think about it when I'm not with them because then I would be doing it or we'd be doing it as a joint paper. If you have a leaf that goes around and comes back near itself like this. So that's easy. Just forget about that. And then I work on this stuff I don't talk to students with. Not necessarily a good place to write a thesis. It's this Nagar Stokes problem. Not now, since the 90s. <laughs> The two-word sentence that made sense to me about the secret of life, to be happy, you know what it is? Two words, be interested. The secret of life and happiness in two words, be interested. And Hans Muntekos, chair of the Abel Committee, in what way um, is that attitude reflected in Sullivan's work? Be interested. I, I think it has been a guiding star in all his career. He, he's a maverick going his own ways, and he has always been driven by what interests him and successfully changed field many times. So I have a small story about this, which I find quite uh, amusing. So, in 1971, uh, Sullivan was visiting uh, Berkeley. Uh, it was in the height of, of the student revolution, student uh, uproar uh, in Berkeley. And, and um, this math building in Berkeley, uh, Evans Hall, it, it's, it's this brutalist type architecture. Uh, and, and the students, they were, were illegally painting the walls with colors to, to cheer it up. So, so then uh, he found interest in a, in a young bearded student who was making, making a mathematics painting on the wall. And he joined in and he uh, filled in the details, worked two days with this student to fill in the details of this mural. And this student was uh, Bill Thurston, who, who, who later got the Fields Medal for his understanding of, of three-dimensional spaces. And Sullivan learned a lot about uh, Thurston's idea by, by, by joining in on this mural. So follow your interest takes you a long way. So uh, this prize is awarded based on a recommendation from the Abel Committee that you share. Um, take us through the process from nomination to recommendation. Yeah, so the Abel Committee consists of a Norwegian chair and uh, four distinguished uh, international uh, mathematicians uh, who are nominated by the International Mathematical Union and the European Mathematical Society. And uh, we meet three times in the fall. In the first meeting, we take a bird's eye view of mathematics, looking from upside and down and looking at various topics, see what is interesting, what, is, what has been going on over the last 30 years. And then we focus in on, on certain areas, on certain persons. We ask for referee reports, and it's, it's interesting work to, to really uh, get into to, to, to the works of many types of mathematics and look at it. 
the last two years has been particularly difficult for us because we didn't meet physically for the last two years. We've been meeting on Zoom, on, virtually on Zoom, and it's not the best uh, forum to discuss uh, this kind of, of thing. So it's, it has been difficult. And I'm really happy now to meet my, some, my committee. Some of them I meet for the first time here now, and, and I, I'm grateful for the devoted and hard work they've been doing. So I would like to thank my committee, consisting of... Alex Lubotsky, Subash Kott, uh, Parimala Raman, and Ulrike Tillman. And now, Hans, it's time to explain the decision of the Abel Committee. Your Majesty, Abel Loritz, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great joy we today celebrate the 2022 Abel Prize to Dennis Sullivan for his groundbreaking contributions to topology in its broadest sense, and in particular to its algebraic, geometric, and dynamical aspects. Topology was born in the late 19th century as a new qualitative approach to geometry, studying shapes of spaces, of, such as our own four-dimensional universe and abstract mathematical spaces of any dimension. In topology, a circle and a square are the same, since the circle can be continuously transformed to, to a, a square. The surface of the Earth and that of a donut are different, as the donut has a hole. The surface of this bottle is yet another space. In such a universe, an astronaut traveling around the loop returns home reflected with her heart on the right-hand side. <laughs> Developing a precise language and quantitative tools for measuring the properties of objects that do, change, do not change when they are, they are deformed has been invaluable throughout mathematics and beyond, with significant applications in fields ranging from physics to economics to data science. Algebraic methods from topology are now providing important computational tools to understand the structure of big data sets in biology, medicine, and other application areas. Dennis Sullivan has repeatedly changed the landscape of topology by introducing new concepts, proving landmark theorems, answering old conjectures, and formulating new problems that have driven the field forwards. He has moved from area to area seemingly effortlessly using algebraic, analytic, and geometric ideas like a true virtuoso. Surprisingly, spaces of dimension five and higher are in many respects simpler than three and four dimensional. This is because there are more directions to move around in higher dimensions, allowing, for example, the untying of knots. Much of the modern understanding of high-dimensional topology relies on ideas and techniques introduced by Sullivan, and many of his mathematical structures are well suited for computations. Apart from topology, the other major area of Sullivan's work is dynamical systems describing motions of objects in a space. These can be physical systems, such as planetary motions in the solar system, flow of water in a river, or dynamical systems obtained by repeated iteration of polynomials in a space of complex numbers. The remarkable beauty of such complex dynamical systems became visible with computer graphics in the 1980s. Dynamics of simple quadratic polynomials yields Julia sets with intricate fractal geometry. Sullivan solved long-standing open problems in complex dynamical systems and introduced a tight relationship between these and Kleinian groups. Dennis Sullivan's insistent probing for fundamental understanding and his capacity to see analogues between diverse areas of mathematics and build bridges between them has forever changed the field. In a few minutes, His Majesty the King will present Dennis Sullivan with the Abel Prize. But to set the tone, I am proud to introduce to you one of our most accomplished and original musicians. And he also has an above-average interest in mathematics. 
As a matter of fact, this fall, he will enroll at the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences in Oslo, where he will explore uh, robotics and intelligent systems, and maybe also how mathematics relates to music. Here is Håkon Kunsta.
Dennis Sullivan, please step forward. I now have the honor to ask His Majesty Kong Harald V to present the Abel Prize 2022 to Dennis Sullivan. Thank you. Let me skip the customary salutations um, and start. Whoops. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to say the word that starts with M during this small talk. For, of a few minutes. Um, so Niels Hendrik Albel, by the age of 18, was fascinated and working hard on unraveling one of the mysteries of what I will call the logic of numbers. He also, in this, on his path to unraveling this uh, probed the logic of space. So the problem is the logic of numbers, but he probed the logic of space with his abelian functions. We say abelian, not abelian, abelian in math. And before Abel and since Abel, this exploration of the field of space and numbers of the logic, sorry, this exploration of the logic of space and the logic of numbers has developed with many devotees, with much understanding, and with many uses. And interestingly enough, all along the way, at least in my 60 years of experience, all, and so I imagined before, all along the way, young children, from the youngest to the very to the very young children, enjoy the beginnings of the logic of space and numbers. The toddler is not playing; he's working, he's exploring space. Slightly older, starts counting. So every child enjoys the logic of numbers and space. Now, I've mentioned it has many uses, but one utility of this logic of space and number has yet to be appreciated and used, although the word was mentioned before, critical thinking. So in this logic of space and number, statements must be and must have, must be formulated so that they have clear meaning to everyone. And once the statement has clear meaning to everyone, then and only then can you make, then one begins, then one can, I should say, make a critical analysis of the evidence for the truth or the not truth, falsity, of the statement which has clear meaning to everyone. So this is a kind of critical thinking that <clears throat> evolves because space and number are so simple in the beginning in some sense, and then you slowly build up from there, everything can be clear. So 
The idea is that if we keep these children interested in the logic of space and number, and they develop this concept of critical thinking, wouldn't that be wonderful if everyone had the ability to do critical thinking? So it's, I shouldn't have said that, but I mean, that's the obvious conclusion. So this week, we're celebrating this great activity of the logic of space and number. And this speaker uh, gladly accepts this award with humility and gratitude. Thank you. The Abel Prize grant is also utilized for supporting young talents and uh, activities aimed at children and youth. And we just heard four young talents. Uh, they're all um, students at one of Norway's leading talent development programs, uh, Young Talents Baradua. And at 15, they've already received national prizes. Uh, we've heard them play at the National Theatre and even at the Royal Castle. And today they joined us to celebrate Dennis Sullivan. It's time to conclude this year's Abel Prize ceremony. Welcome back. 
Lise Øverholds. Today is a great day for the field of mathematics and for the society at large. Today we honor great achievements. I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to Dennis Sullivan, Arbel Laureate for 2022. Your scientific contribution to the field of mathematics is of great value to us. In addition, a heartfelt thank you to all the laureates present here today, in addition to Dennis Sullivan, Andre Smeredi, Hillel Furstenberg, Gregory Margulis, Laszlo Lovas and Avi Wittgersen. We appreciate your presence today and are grateful for being able to celebrate together with you all. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that has contributed to the Abel Prize continued success as we mark 20 years since the Norwegian government established the prize. In fact, it took more than 100 years to have a prize named after the mathematician Nils Henrik Abel. A working group brought the idea of a prize back to life in year 2000, and their hard work succeeded. The International Mathematical Union, the European Mathematical Society, the Heidelberg Laureate Forum, the Abel Committee, the Abel Board, the national and the international com communities have all contributed to establish a highly recognized international prize in mathematics. I would also like to thank the chair of the Abel Committee, Hans Muntekos, for your excellent work and to welcome Helge Holden as our new chair of the committee. In addition, I would like to thank Jon Grue, the outgoing chair of the Abel Board, and welcome Ingrid Gla as our new chair. I thank you all for your contribution and, for, and we are all grateful for finally being able to celebrate together today. Thank you. stays the same Cause that's the way of time Nothing and no one remains the same The young become the old Old mysteries will unfold Cause that's the way of time Nothing and no one remains the same There were so few things in life You can be sure of Except the rain falls from the clouds the sun lights up the sky And the hummingbirds will fly The young become the old Old mysteries will unfold Cause that's the way of time Nothing and no one remains the same There were so few things in life You can be sure of Except the rain falls from the clouds The sun lights up the sky And the hummingbirds will fly Everything 
must change everything everything must change Now please rise for His Majesty the King.